Volvo BL71B is a standard type of backhoe loader, and depending on configuration, it generally weighs between 8 and 10 tonnes. It comes in the now standard design of Volvo branded box, and there's a photo of the real machine on the back. But there's no information provided about the real BL71B. The main box is sealed by a bit of fiddly tape, which you have to unpeel. And then you can pull out the plastic formers, which are sandwiching the model. So there you have it, it's a BL71B sandwich. The two formers just pull apart, and then you can lift out the model. There's no instructions for the model, and there's no assembly to do, because this model is complete, out of the box. Looking underneath, the detail is fairly simple, with the grey base plate being plastic. The rubber tyres are good, and the outside of the wheels are detailed, but the insides are rough mouldings. The castings on the back hoe are quite nice and detailed, but there are no hydraulic hoses. The side shift mechanism and the stabilisers are made of plastic, and it's not the best quality. The cab is modelled well, however, with plenty of detail inside and out. And again, quite a lot of it is plastic, including the mirror assemblies and also the exhaust pipe. The use of plastic also continues on the loader arm. Again, there are no hydraulic hoses, but the bucket is metal. So, out we go onto the Cranes Etc Roadworks site, and let's see the BL71B roll along. Well, it rolls fine, and looking underneath, the wheels spin freely on common axles. But there is one feature that this model doesn't have, and that's working steering, which is a little bit of a disappointment. So let's just say bucket, and get on with looking at the front bucket. The loader arms are plastic, so they flex a bit, and they don't go up very high. So you can't really use it with a normal road tipper. The bucket tilt angle isn't too good either, but this is a clamshell bucket, and the clam does open quite widely. Whilst we're still at the front of the machine, there's another feature to look at. And that's the opening engine hood, under which there is a reasonably detailed engine with different coloured components. The only issue is that the cover won't stay posed in the up position. Let's now go to the back, where there's a hoe, and so it's called the back hoe. Firstly, there are stabilisers which can be lowered to give stability during digging operations. But on the model, these are plastic and very loose, so they're really just for show rather than providing any stability. The back hoe can be rotated out from its transport position. And it's also mounted on a side shift mechanism, so the digging position of the backhoe pivot can be altered. But some of the parts are plastic, so it's not at all smooth to operate the side shift. But having said that, once it's positioned in place, it'll probably stay there. The movement of the boom stick and bucket is on the whole reasonable. And certainly the rams are actually quite stiff, so they'll hold any pose that you set. The bucket movement is a little bit constrained at each end of its travel. But at least one thing you can pose the model for is digging trenches. So if we switch on the patented Cranes Etc hover mode, then we see that the range of the boom and stick movement is good enough to allow digging at depth. There is one other small neat feature on the backhoe, and that's the working locking pin on the boom. And that has the purpose of locking the boom into its transport position. From the back, we now move back to the front, and let's examine the pair of loading forks. These are plastic and quite delicate, and they fold down into position, but it's not possible to alter their width at all. So, if you want to use them posed carrying a pallet, you do need quite a large pallet. And even to get this one on, you need to bend the forks in a little bit. So, let's move on to the first of the genuine imitation real life tests. And for the first one, we'll try moving a couple of traffic barriers using the forks. So, we tell the driver, fork that, and that's exactly what he does. He picks up the barriers and drives them away. For the next test, let's try picking up some sand with the bucket. And our driver purposefully rams the sand pile and tilts his bucket. With the sand loaded, we can now try and tip it into a truck. And this one is a low-sided tipper, so the bucket will reach over the side. To empty the bucket, the driver gets his big hands outside of the cab and gives the clamshell bucket a bit of assistance. Using our patented Vibro Bucket Empty System, the load is discharged. This motor art model is a rework of an earlier version, and in terms of detail, it does look quite good. However, the plastic content is high and the functionality could be better. But overall, if you like Volvo machines, then it's good enough to be recommended. 